Kenya Airways flight KQ100 coming into land at Heathrow this afternoon, more than eight hours after it took off from Nairobi. It was this flight on Sunday from which a stowaway fell out of a wheel bay as the Boeing 787's undercarriage came down over Clapham in South London. The body crashed to the ground in the garden of a house in this street where the tenant was sunbathing. The plane took off for the 4,000-mile journey from Nairobi to London at half past nine local time and climbed to an altitude of 40,000 feet, where temperatures plunged to minus 57 degrees. The Dreamliner passed over Offerton Road just after half past three at three and a half thousand feet and landed at Heathrow just a few minutes later. Over here we have a, a, what we call an altitude chamber. Dr Daniel Martin is the director of the Centre for Altitude, Space and Extreme Environment Medicine at UCL. Here we are. He says surviving at such a height is all but Absolutely, impossible. Yeah, 29,000 feet, the summit of Everest, is probably the very limit of what humans can achieve from an altitude perspective. And that takes weeks to acclimatise to get to the summit of Everest. This person will, will have had less than an hour to, to get to that altitude. So there's no possibility whatsoever of any acclimatisation. And it's that very sudden exposure to a high altitude which is so very dangerous. Sunday's flight landed at Heathrow on time and with no damage to the aircraft but food, water and clothing left behind by the stowaway were found in the wheel bay. Di Whittingham is chief executive of the UK Flight Safety Committee. He says even if you survive the altitude and extreme cold and are in the final descent to landing, the danger still isn't over. While the pilots have warning of when the undercarriage is coming down, if you're in the undercarriage bay, you do not. So the probability is that even if this individual was alert, then uh, there, there is no warning, the doors were just open, and if you're not ready, you're out. Stowaways in the undercarriage of planes are rare, surviving the ordeal rarer still. This young man emerged alive after a flight from California to Hawaii five years ago. And in Kenya now, an investigation is underway into what happened on Sunday's flight to Heathrow. Everybody who's kind of